I managed to find the hole. There's a first for everything. Yes guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video on the van build. Today is all about solar because we are going to be installing 350 watts of solar panels on the roof of the van. For some strange reason, this is a job that I've been putting off for ages. I have no idea why, but today I finally want to get the panels mounted and I think it should be pretty straightforward and fairly easy. I've just been once again blowing this out of proportion in my head thinking it's very complex and very difficult to do but actually fingers crossed it should go pretty smoothly if you haven't been keeping up with the van build series then there's a playlist down below with all of the previous videos and all of the little projects and things that i've done in here so far so if you want to watch it from series or episode one sorry then go ahead click on the playlist and you can watch it from the start <laughs> So these are the solar panels that I've got. Obviously, one panel is 175 watts, plus the other one, 175 watts, giving me 350 watts of off-grid solar, I hope anyway. Apparently, this should be able to give me around 240 amp hour of solar per day, I believe. Don't ask me what amp hour is because all of that electronic solar power stuff is completely beyond me. I've tried to research it and look into it, but I completely forget how it works and trying to understand it absolutely just confuses the shit out of me. I have here the full installation kit that I need to get the solar panels mounted to the roof, so I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. So the first thing that we have in the kit is two bottles or two tubes of this Sudaflex. This is what you use to um, help at least stick down the panels and the brackets to the roof so that nothing comes flying off when you're driving. I've also got a Victron uh, 20 amp MPPT smart controller. Basically what this does is, I'm literally reading this from Google because that's how bad I am, I can't explain it to you. It's a, it's a charge controller that optimizes the connection between the solar panels and the battery. Basically, if you have solar panels, you need this. I've also got some fuse, oh bollocks. Don't hold it upside down. I've got some brackets to obviously mount from the panel to the actual roof however i'm actually going to be using some different brackets because these ones are just slightly too big for my roof configuration and then lastly we've got some cable to obviously attach to the solar panels to my electrical system once i've installed that the reason i'm showing you all of this in so much detail is obviously one because i get the questions all the time what materials are you using what exact parts do you need and also the fact that i bought the full installation solar panel kit means that any moron like me can do a DIY job on their van and get them installed themselves. I picked up all of this stuff from a company called Sunstore who are a massive, massive help because they knew exactly what parts and what materials I needed to get the job done. And they also helped me to decide exactly what solar panel setup that I needed because I am hoping to obviously go full-time off-grid in the future so a decent amount of solar is going to be needed to power this van if you don't fancy doing a diy job like i'm going to be doing you can actually get the guys at the motorhome workshop who are professionals who will install the solar panels for you so you don't have to cock it up yourself anyway both links to sunstore and the motorhome workshop will be in the link in the description so if you want to pick up some solar panels or you want professionals to do it for you make sure you check the links below so the first job is going to be to mount these brackets which I picked these up from Amazon. They're called Z brackets or Z brackets, however you say the word Z from wherever you're from. Basically, got to mount these to the sides of the solar panel and then bolt them on and then screw the panel down. The panels are 148.5 centimeters width. So, no, length, sorry. So I'm just gonna take a few measurements because I wanna make sure that I'm bolting things in the right place. I managed to find the hole. There's a first for everything. Oh shit, I've put that one the bloody wrong way. If you want to know how to do something, don't watch my videos. Don't want to scratch the top of the van. It's probably easier with two people this job, but I'm riding solo today. Oh. <sighs> 
God, I'm out of breath. Oh man, I may bring them in one. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Slightly difficult to show you. Oh, Christ almighty. Hold on. My ladder's going. <coughs> oh God. I'm just moving these brackets further in so they sit better. Okay, so I've marked the new placement of where I want the brackets and the panel to sit. And now I'm gonna pre-drill through the van with this metal drill bit. These screws actually are self-tapping, so you don't need to pre-drill, but I just figured it's going to make it easier for the screw to go down straight and in the exact line that I want it to. And then after that, we need to put some sealant underneath the bracket and then tighten it down. Oh god. Moved it. I moved it. Oh god. Oh god. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, here comes the fun part. I've got this Sudaflex, which I'm going to put underneath each bracket. One to make it watertight and also to give extra strength to hold these bad boys to the roof. Good, it's all steeping out. And now let's screw one of these in. These, by the way, they have a little uh, kind of rubber see-through washer, which obviously helps to make the bolts watertight. Why is that one not going in? Where's my hole? Okay, so all of them are exactly like this at the moment. This is slightly at an angle because of the way that I drilled the hole, but I'm gonna tighten them all down now and make it secure. Right, this should not go anywhere. It is completely, completely fixed down to the roof of the van. That's the first solar panel. In happy days, I'm gonna crack on with the second solar panel, which is gonna be exactly the same process. I won't bore you and show you that as well. We'll do a time-lapse after I've gone and got some lunch and we'll speed through getting this second one on. Tesco meal deal, you can't beat it. 3G, walkers ready salted, chicken chorizo, and a Twix, £3.70, get in my belly. That's it, happy days. Both solar panels are on and mounted to the roof. Fingers crossed they're watertight and they don't blow off in the wind. If you're wondering where the screws come out, then here, as you can see, four down the middle and then another four there. And then the ones on the sides are in this void here, which you can't actually see. I probably will end up grinding this down so that obviously no one spikes the head, but I'm gonna have a ceiling here anyway. So uh, that's a job for a later date anyway. Oh, I know I've said it loads of times, but that is sweaty stuff, hoisting solar panels up and down on your own, getting this tool, then you realize, oh, I forgot a certain tool, so you've got to come back down, then you go back up. Whew. But we got there. There's a few more jobs to do with the solar panels, like wiring up and installing the MPPT charger, also installing this 
box for the cable to come through. All of the electrics and the wiring and stuff, I'm gonna save for a rainy day. It is actually raining today, but ignore that. I'm gonna do all the electrics and get the solar panels 100% completely finished at a later date. Because, to be honest with you, I think it's time to start having some fun in this van. I'm gonna head out on a few more stealth camps very soon to test out the van. Now I have a bed in here and the solar panels installed, just so I can get really familiar with how things work and start having a bit of fun in it. So we're gonna take a pause on the van build for a couple of weeks for me. Whether that's a couple of weeks for you, I'm unsure yet, but the videos will continue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you kind of learnt the processes and the ways that it needs to be done. I think I did it correct. If I didn't, drop it in the comments and please do let me know. Make sure you check out Sunstore if you want to get your own solar panel kit. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.